In this video, we are going to compare IPython with the Python interpreter. Over on the right side in red, we have the Python interpreter, which we open up by saying Python. And on the left side, we have in green, IPython. And we're going to compare and contrast these two using quite a few examples. And the first thing we want to notice, it says right here, type help in the Python interpreter. And in IPython, it says type question for help. So we'll get to that in a bit. In both of these, you can type out one line of code at a time. So we can import NumPy as NP in both. And we can define a variable X as an NP.array in both the Python interpreter and in IPython. And if we want to display that variable on the screen, we can just type the variable's name and click enter. And click enter. And you notice that in IPython it has the word out, where in Python interpreter it does not. Now let's get into how to use the help function. In Python interpreter, you type the word help and can put in whatever you want. So in this case, np. And in IPython, we can type np question mark. Now these bring up almost the exact same thing. You'll notice the name and description is a little bit different but then what it provides and everything else below that seems to be the same. You'll see they have the same examples and everything, but there is one difference though. You can keep scrolling in the Python interpreter and it lists all of the different methods that this has, NP. So it lists all the different methods that NP has, whereas in IPython, you don't get to see a list of all the different methods. And then the Python interpreter also goes through every single one of those methods, which in NumPy there's a lot, and explains to you just the basic doc string for each of those. So IPython doesn't have that, but there is a different way you can access that. So let's go over here to IPython. We can type NP dot and hit the tab key, and it will bring up a list of all of those different methods that we saw in the Python interpreter. If we want to see the doc string for each one, we just type a question mark. Of course, in the Python interpreter, you can do that as well, just by typing the specific method that you're looking for inside of help. So let's clear the screen. And we can also type help of a variable that we already have in the Python interpreter, or in IPython, we can do X question mark. So in either case, you can get help on a variable that you've already created to learn more about the type of class it belongs to. And the Python interpreter, of course, lists every single method associated with that. Let's clear both of the screens. Now, in the Python interpreter, you can type the word help with parentheses as empty and you will bring up the help menu. For example, you can write the word list and you'll see all of the methods with list, which is comparable to IPython's question mark. But of course, IPython does not bring up every single method. To quit help, you just type the word quit. Now you're back in the Python interpreter. And in the Python interpreter, you can also list the different methods as well. IPython lets you kind of scroll through all of them and click on whichever one you want. And in the Python interpreter, you actually have to type out help of list.sort, for example. And in NumPy, you can see there's a lot more methods that you can list both in IPython and in the Python interpreter. And if we wanted to learn more about np.where, we do a question mark in IPython, or we type help of np.where. I think you're starting to catch on kind of the difference of how you use the two. Now let's do a little bit of coding in both. For example, in IPython, we can type for i in x and we can print x. And in the Python interpreter, if we try that exact same thing, we're actually gonna get an error because the Python interpreter did not tab over for us or do four spaces over for us. So we have to do four spaces before we print X. And now we have the same thing on either side. So just make sure you need to indent. So in IPython to quit, you type the word quit. And in Python interpreter to quit, you type quit with empty parentheses. So there you have it. That is the difference between IPython and the Python interpreter. It depends on what you prefer. In my case, and if you've watched a lot of my videos, you know that I prefer IPython. But whatever you like works for you. Thanks for watching and please check out some of my other Python videos for more Python coding content.